So what's up? This is just another short video of just for you Patreon and YouTube supporters. I got this package in the mail and I'm at work right now. I had to pick it up at FedEx on my way into the office. So I brought the enclosures with me. I just unpacked it. I thought I was recording the actual unboxing, but I think I was just taking pictures. <laughs> I haven't used this camera in a while, so uh, I got to relearn a few things. Got to get used to it. Uh, but I've got them right here. Um, these are, well, you can't see because of the, the lighting very well. Uh, I ordered uh, like three or four tarantula, not tarantula, scorpions from Pinchers and Pokies, and they sent me a freebie, which uh, I don't know if you can read, it's a uh, C. gracilis, 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 a Florida bark scorpion, another Florida bark scorpion, and it looks rather big. Now I knew they were probably going to send some, uh, from some freebies, so uh, I brought, as you can see, some extra enclosures, oh, I won't just track my face, but I only have small ones so hopefully it's not too big uh we'll see how that goes um but this is what we've got so we've got a mozambique hissing scorpion uh brazilian scorpion titius stigmaris uh, I got a second one of those because they are communal. Um, they're also, uh, oh, yeah, and the Tidia Smithy. Uh, I was reading this one's not as communal. They're pretty hot scorpions, so I don't recommend getting them if you don't have experience. And uh, they're a little trickier to take care of. They require, like, higher humidity. Um, but we're going to get those unboxed very carefully. Uh, and then the Mozambique Hissing Scorpion. Uh, I've got it just on sand right now. It does need more of a clay mixture because it likes to burrow a lot, but uh, this is just something to keep it in until I can get it home and get it set up in its permanent enclosure. So these are the enclosures that I have for them, uh, for the little titius. Now these are um, parthenogenic, so they can produce young uh, without mating. So I assume that's where these came from. So they're all going to be female. So they're all going to be doing their own mating or parthenogenically reproducing, I guess you could say. Uh, and this is the enclosure I have set up for the Mozambique, um, whatever it was, <laughs> hissing scorpion. Uh, so we're going to get these guys moved in here. These are just little pioneer enclosures for, um, well, they're not really enclosures. I guess they're uh, just acrylic containers, display cases for like um, matchbox cars or something like that. Uh, you can order them online from Pioneer Plastics. They're a little, much cheaper than going to uh, an actual hobby store and getting them. So let's let's get these guys set up in their new home. That one was a little bit larger than I uh, anticipated. I'm kind of freaking out in there. It doesn't look like you can see it very well. It blends in with the substrate almost uh, camouflage perfectly. Um, definitely bigger than I thought. I should have brought the larger enclosures. So that one was a smithy. Whoa, it just came out. Now this is more the size I was expecting. Um, See if we can just get it to come out without having to pull. Oh, nope, get off there. I don't want you to stick. There we go. Can't get too close with this camera. <laughs> oh, we got that one set up. Let's move on to the next one. So 
freaking out. That's another big boy right there. So yeah, they were a little larger than I thought. Alright, so we got those uh, all unboxed and set up. Hope you enjoyed this video. That uh, Florida Bark Scorpion is way too big for me to be able to uh, put in any of those enclosures. Like, it's the size of the small enclosures that I had. So, uh, we're just going to take it home and stick it straight into the communal tank. It looked pretty fat, so uh, it may be a female. Uh, hopefully, it's not gravid, or hopefully it is gravid. I don't know. I got a lot of babies right now. I got to get rid of. So, I don't know if I can take on any more. Um, but if you're interested in getting some of those Florida Bark Scorpions and you live here in the U.S., be sure to uh, stay tuned because I am going to be sending all of them out to a dealer that deals in you know, selling tarantulas so they can handle it. And I'm just going to send them all to them and let them take care of uh, shipping those, selling them, and all that kind of stuff. So I'll let you all know first when they're available before making an announcement just on a YouTube video. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick little unboxing. Thanks again for supporting the channel. You know, even if it's a dollar or two a month, it means a whole lot and it really helps out. So uh, thank you guys. And I will see you in the next one.